Hello and welcome to the latest edition of the Political Paths. Today we are in conversation with Aditi Raja, Assistant Editor at the Indian Express. We'll be talking about the Bilkis Bano gang rape case and how 11 convicts serving life imprisonment in the case were freed from the Godhra sub jail on August 15. The decision was taken after a state government panel approved the convicts' applications for remission of sentence, according to government officials. Bilkis Bano was gang raped and a three year old daughter. Saleha was among 14 killed by a mob on March 3, 2002 in Dahod, Gujarat. She was pregnant at the time. Uh, let us start with the latest development. 11 convicts serving life imprisonment in the case were freed from the Godhra sub jail on August 15. Could you tell us more why this step was taken? So according to the state government, uh, it was based on an application of remission received from the 11 convicts who had completed their 14 years in prison. Uh, they were awarded life sentence in January 2008, 21st January 2008 by the special CBI court in Mumbai. And um, they have in total served about 18 years in prison, uh, including the period that they spent in jail as under trial. As per the uh, law, uh, any life, uh, any uh, any prisoner serving a life term is entitled to apply for remission before the state government, uh, which is empowered by Section 432 of the CRPC uh, to consider such applications for remission. And based on various factors such as their behavior in the jail, their age, the nature of their crime. Uh, the state government can, and it is solely the decision of the state government, uh, with recommendation from the judicial, uh, uh, sorry, from the prison uh, advisory committee, uh, to grant such a remission or uh, also premature release. But in this case, uh, it is remission because they have already uh, completed 14 years in prison. According to law, a uh, life term could be a minimum of 14 years and extending up to the life of the person. Uh, so on what grounds was this decision taken to, you know, the decision to free all the 11 convicts, on what grounds were they taken? So basically the decision has been taken on grounds of good conduct. That is what the uh, chairman of the prison, uh, of the jail advisory committee told us this afternoon. And uh, the application was received uh, in May, sometime in May, after one of the convicts had moved the Supreme Court uh, to direct the Gujarat government to uh, uh, consider the application uh, as per the 1992 uh, remission policy of the state government, which was amended in 2014. But because their, uh, their case was basically decided in 2008, they wanted it uh, to be considered, the remission application to be considered as per the procedure of 1992. Uh, the difference between the two policies is that in 2014, the state government had amended the state remission and premature release of prisoners policy uh, to include exclusion in the sense of uh, certain kinds of crimes and certain kinds of uh, laws. Uh, under which convicts could not apply for remission. So uh, if you go by the 2014 amendment, uh, prisoners serving life term, uh, prisoners serving um, jail term for rape, gang rape, murder, uh, and such other sections would not be eligible to apply for remission. But because the Supreme Court uh, directed the Gujarat government to uh, consider their application under the eligibility as per the 1992 policy, uh, their application was considered and it was granted. So um, what did Rajkumar, uh, the additional chief secretary of home, uh, have to say about this decision? So uh, according to the ACS home, uh, this application was basically received uh, earlier this year in May. And um, after considering all the aspects and given the fact that the court order of that uh, court, of the CBI court in 2008, which was an in-camera trial technically, so we don't have the order in public. 
but uh, the order did not have any restriction in place which disallowed the convicts from applying for remittance so since the convicts had completed their basic term of 14 years of life imprisonment which is the minimum sentence for a life imprisonment but it can extend to your life the court decided or the sorry the state decided to consider their application and uh, taking in mind the recommendation of the committee because uh, according to the committee they had uh, good conduct in the jail they were doing teaching uh, they they had taken up teaching courses uh, some of them uh, were very peaceful uh, you know as compared to other convicts and so uh, the the committee considered their good behavior as one of the reasons uh, the other factor was age since most of them are aging now uh, that is what uh, they have said were the ground for um, the release considering their remission application so uh, how has bilkis bano reacted to this decision is there any clarity on what the next course of action so when uh, when judge ud salvi of the special cbi court in mumbai delivered the verdict in january 2008 uh it was an in camera verdict so obviously we did not uh, hear the actual order but uh after he pronounced the sentence the one thing that he said in uh, you know in public and to reporters was that the courage of bilkis was one of the reasons that the case went through and uh, he was able to even decide on the case because she stayed put and um she remained very firm on her deposition in court so yesterday and she has always been a fighter as everybody has seen but yesterday when the news reached her uh, she didn't believe uh, you know that something like that could happen also because they did not even know that there is a process like remission that actually exists so you know they they they've now learned that there is a process of law by which uh, the convicts could actually seek remission and walk out of jail which uh, was completely a novel concept for her uh, you know being uh, not being from a very very sound background herself uh, she was not aware that such a process exists and so it has left her in a shock and um, she isn't actually interacting with anybody so uh, the only thing that she said that she has been praying since last night for the soul of her departed family members who were killed that night especially her 3 year old daughter uh, who was killed in front of her and uh, her husband has said that uh, they haven't really decided what they would do next because this has come as such a surprise and as such a unexpected move that um, it will you know it will be best if they just now settle in and you know move on because there seems to be no remedy to this actually because technically the convicts have served their life term you know as per law so i don't know and i don't think if they are really planning to indulge in another legal battle now uh, bilkis has already received compensation of 50 lakhs uh, awarded by the supreme court which she has put up in a fixed deposit uh she was offered a job of a peon in um uh, uh in a local government office there but she turned it down because she has five children three of whom are teenagers and in very crucial years of their academic so bilkis uh, has then petitioned the state government to consider giving the same job to her husband who can go out and work instead of her uh that petition is yet to be decided they are also yet to hear from the state government about the accommodation that was supposed to be given to them as per the supreme court direction uh but as of today after hearing that the uh, convicts have actually walked out of jail uh at this point they don't know what should be their next the rape of bilkis banu and the murder of her family members were like one of the most horrifying incidents that took place during the godra riots in 2002 in gujarat so can you briefly tell us about exactly what happened about the incident like in as small as it was it was uh, so as per the prosecution's case in the court uh, it was on may 3 uh, 2002 that bilkis banu and 17 family members were uh, fleeing from randipur in limkheda taluka of dahod district 
where uh, riots had broken out after the Sabarmati train carnage of April, uh, February 27, 2002 in Godhra. While they were on their way out through a jungle area and a mountainous area of the district, uh, they were apparently attacked by a group of people armed with swords and sticks. That is where on that hill, uh, the prosecution case is that eight of her family members, including her three-year-old daughter, her mother, and her aunt, were killed after the, uh, the adults were gang-raped and the daughter was killed. Bilkes was gang-raped. She was pregnant, about five months pregnant at that time. Uh, so six others were missing for a long time. Later, they were obviously considered dead. Um, so Bilkes, the next morning after the, uh, you know, the killings happened, the attack happened, she went downhill and met a tribal woman who first helped her with some clothes. Later, she went ahead and she found a home guard who took her to Limkheda police station to register a complaint. And that's where her legal battle began. In 2004, the accused were arrested and the Supreme Court directed the CBI to investigate the case and shifted it to Mumbai. The CBI court in Mumbai in January 2008 held 11 of the 19 men charged in the case guilty. It acquitted seven people and one accused had died during the course of the trial. The 11 convicted men were sentenced to life imprisonment. In 2017, the Bombay High Court upheld the life imprisonment awarded to the 11 convicts and also set aside the acquittal of the seven other accused who had been let free by the CBI court. Thank you so much for giving us your time and thank you for sharing those key details. Uh, tune into the Indian Express for all the latest updates. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel.